yeah. Pounders. Well, he, you know, I, you know, it's one of those one of those games where he got stronger as the game went on, and that happens sometimes. I mean, that happens. You know, the first inning. I don't think I, you know, how many how many slow rollers did they hit down the third baseline, right? Four, right? But he was making pitches from the get go. He really was. I think the key tonight was effective use of the change that we've talked about, and the cutter that you talked about this afternoon, right? Effective, best one all year. Four of his eight strikeouts. Best uh, best cutter that we've seen all season from from Tyler. Uh, now you're going to ask me why did that happen? Where did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm glad it happened. But uh, you know, I really like the way he and Ryan work together. But you saw the three pitch mix, use of the change. Uh, he got some fastballs by some of their hitters later in the game at the top of the zone. Uh, he got he threw some low fastballs on the outside corner uh, that needs to be done by every starting pitcher in baseball at the knees on the corner away. Uh, you know I thought that one of the biggest outs of the game was the punch out in the first inning to Lamb, huge out, and then to get Tomas to ground to short. I mean that was a huge momentum swing for us. So again, I think uh, you know what we saw tonight was what all of you saw most of last season with Tyler. Right, that type of performance, and I really like the fact that he got stronger from, you know, pitch 60 to pitch 100. He had a 24 pitch fifth, which took a little out of him, but uh, he bounced back in the sixth and made some pitches. So, how about the first inning where you were talking about the rollers? He had two guys on. He had um, he had that throw wide to first base. Not that that spiral out like we'd seen a couple. Of times. You know, from knowing this guy, this guy, you know, he's. He, as emotional as he gets, I mean, there's some strikeouts and there's some emotion after strikeouts and after big outs, but I do think he's a clear thinker. Uh, you know, I, I do think he keeps his poise, and I like that about him. I like that about this fella, that he keeps his poise. Uh, he's engaged in the dugout in between innings. He's, he's, uh, he's lucid. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's good stuff. It's, I, I like that out of a pitcher where you can communicate with the guy in between innings, and he's and he and all actually all our guys are pretty good that way, and they're going to be as long as you know I'm here. But offensively tonight, you were able to do some good things with uh, <clears throat> very good Patrick Corbin. Out yeah, there. Corbin's been tough. He was tough on us last week, but you know we jumped in the first inning and tried. We got a break with the ball hitting the bag. DJ good swing. Uh, Nolan, you know, got a ball out over. Uh, you know, Mark, you know, blistered one. That was a bullet. So. And that was nice to see. We just stayed on the attack. You know, we got two, we got one, we got one, we got two. I mean, we stayed on them. So we swung the bats well. I think we had a good plan going in, which was great. You know, we, again, we saw him last week. Uh, you know, this is one of those series where, you know, pitchers have seen, uh, have, have seen their hitters, hitters have seen the pitchers. And so just, you got to make pitches, man. I mean, there's really no secrets in this game. I mean, there's no secrets. There's video, there's advanced scouts, there's analytics, there's no secrets. So, uh, you know, we, we had a nice game tonight. How about with uh, Mark? He almost coming off the DL, you got a lot of questions. How are you going to work Mark in there? It seems like it's working itself out. Well, it, it, you know, again, you know, we're going to use all our players, Thomas. I think with, you know, as we move forward, you know, we're getting into May now and, you know, guys are playing and, you know, guys are guys are going to get a blow here and there, but Mark keeps producing. And how do you keep him out of the lineup when he keeps producing? And Ian's been, you know, a, a uh, you know a model uh, leader in that. You know, he's going to do whatever it takes uh, for us to win, whether moving positions from you know day to day, you know, left field, first base, <clears throat> whatever that might be. Uh, he sees what's going on. Uh, Mark uh, is producing. Ian's producing. Parr is producing. Uh, Blackman's doing his thing. DJ's starting to climb again. So uh, we're going to use them all. DJ's uh, playing tonight there. Wasn't been that been great? Been I told Stu that was one of the, you know, one of the best plays I've seen. To, I mean, that was hard hit. 
and in one motion catch flip and and for for Trevor to get back to the bag that awareness uh, you know it's good stuff and you know I hate the not hate but you know these guys practice these things you know in spring training you know on the half diamond right there in Salt River you know DJ and, and Trevor practice certain types of plays and and sure enough they <clears throat> not that DJ's diving for a ball off the bat of Drury I mean it, but you know he's moving around and getting challenged off a of fungo bat in, 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 in spring training, you know, practicing things that might happen during the season. Uh, I think guys at the top of their field do these sorts of things. They practice hard, and that's one that's one things that our that's one thing that our guys do. They practice hard. Well, you talked about a story slump a little bit earlier today, but his approach today, the two strike liner in the center field, as well as the double, right, and the problem. good walk, yeah, right. Seen that in the, the you know, it's again. I think the takes have been better. Uh, I think he's. I do think he's seeing the ball. You know, the the. I mean, the the one, uh, the strikeout, the pitch that he struck out on, man, he, he ticked that ball. Uh, he was right on it, even though it was, it was a three-two breaking ball. But he was right on it, man. And so he's got. He's getting close. I'm telling you, heads up. Somebody's gonna pay. Somebody's gonna pay, and somebody's gonna pay for cargo too. Heads up on that.